My Liahona story starts like a lot of kids, in junior high. I started 7th grade at a local public school, and it wasn't the greatest. By the start of 8th grade, I was experiencing so much depression and anxiety that my parents took me out of school. I just felt so lonely, like there wasn't anything worth living for. I started to hate everyone around me and all the things that once brought me happiness and even the gospel. In September 2019, after I had made little progress at therapy and attempted to take my life, I found myself at an inpatient mental hospital. At only 12 years old, I was the youngest person there, and although hospitals do help some people, it only made me more depressed. Two days before I was supposed to leave, the doctor told me that if I didn't improve, I would have to stay much longer. That made me feel so hopeless. That night, at one of my lowest points, I got a prompting to grab a Book of Mormon off the shelf. So I did, and as I sat down on my squeaky hospital bed and opened the book, I felt the spirit flood me. I was surrounded by the knowledge that there was immense hope and promise in me, and that I was loved and that I wasn't alone. Two days later, I was able to come home just in time for general conference. My parents knew at that point public school was not right for me, but we didn't really know what was right. That little bit of faith I had found, that small speck of hope, was beginning to fade, and I started to question the experience I had. I was falling back into feeling incredibly depressed, and again, I just wanted to leave this world. A week later, my mom found Liahona. At first, I felt like I was too bad for the other students, but as I started to make friends and join the school's musical, I began to feel much happier, I had more positive thoughts, I did better in school, and most importantly, I felt the gospel on a daily basis. Although I was still really shy, performing in Matilda gave me so much joy and I felt alive with the spirit when I was on stage. During the song Quiet, we all froze on stage and I would listen to Katira sing. Two months earlier, I was in the hospital and now as I listened to that song, my soul was full and I knew that performing on stage would help me heal. Through Christ-centered classes and the theater program at Liahona, I started to come out of my shell, figure out who I was, and make more friends. The start of my freshman year, I felt solid academically and in the gospel. It was incredibly exciting when I landed the role of Ariel in The Little Mermaid that year. It is still surreal to think that I was acting, singing, and being comfortable enough to be myself in front of hundreds of people when just a year before I was trying to take my life. Now I'm 16, and I've been at Liahona for three years, and even though I still have bouts of sadness and social anxiety, Liahona has been, and still is, the stability I need to get through these tough years. It's hard to be a teenager in our world, but because of Liahona, I am able to feel a spirit each day with education rooted in the gospel, being with friends who value the same thing as me, and be a part of the theater program here that has truly changed my life. I love my Liahona family and I will be forever grateful.